Good morning, Bishop Love for school. Mr. White, can I just get confirmation? Have we got everybody out here now? One group. Thank you, everyone, though. It's been absolutely excellent so far. I know that you will be, all of you, respectful, and you will all of you be thinking about what we're saying to you this morning. And what a beautiful day we've got, which is a miracle in itself, quite frankly. Just going to wait for a wave from Mr. Topley when we've got this last group across. Okay, before we start properly, I just want to remind you of something. So our vision for our school, what we want for every single one of you out here, is that you have life in all its fullness. Now we are only able to go for life in all its fullness, for that to be our aim, because of the sacrifice that past generations have made for us. I want you to think about that, and I want you to reflect on the people perhaps in your own family, in your own experience, that made that sacrifice. But I also want to remind you of something, that for some of our number, some of us here today, that isn't an experience for past generations, that is an experience that their families are going through now. So I want us to remember our brothers and sisters from Syria, from Ukraine, from Burundi this morning. Just have them in our hearts and in our prayers as we go through this service. So Bishop Luffer School will begin now. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We gather as a school community to mark Armistice Day. We come together in solemn remembrance to remember the sacrifices made in the First World War and all subsequent conflicts by people from many different countries, of many different religions and no religion at all. We come together to reflect on what we have because of what they gave. In this short service of commemoration, we quietly reflect on lives lost, lives shattered, and lives altered by the types of events that most of us will hopefully never have to experience for ourselves. As a community, we show collective respect for the memory of the fallen. We can only live our life in all its fullness because of their sacrifice. This year with the war in Ukraine, the lives scarred by more recent conflicts are especially in our minds and hearts. We take a moment now to reflect that war is very real, not far away, and affecting people we are proud to call our friends. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may, together, live in freedom, justice, and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability, and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. Amen. We shall now take a moment to remember those who have died in conflict to help preserve our freedoms and give us the type of opportunities and freedoms that we are fortunate enough to often be able to take for granted. After the words, we will remember them, we will all repeat, we will remember them. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, 
nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Reeds will now be laid on all of our behalf by our school captains and by Mr. Bonney.
ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear these words from the New Testament. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. After the words, may God give peace, we will all say, God give peace. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace for the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God. May God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, may God give peace. For all the members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. May God give peace. For civilian women, children, and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity, may God give peace. May God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers, who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. May God give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military, and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace, may God give peace. May God give peace. When you go home, Tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Let us pray. God, grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the King, the Commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you always. Amen. Okay, we're almost at the end of our service. May I just say you've been absolutely wonderful, Bishop Luffer School. Mr. Barnett has organised all of this, so I think if um, in your own way today, please, can you say thank you to him as you see him. And one thing that Mr. Barnett has got, uh, he's brought us to um, really make this a meaningful moment, um, is a whistle. Alex has the whistle. The whistle was used in the trenches during World War I by men not much older than Alex. Will now be blown by him, one of our school captains, to dismiss you back to your tutor rooms. The sound echoes through the ages and ties us to those men who heard it over a hundred years ago. Could I please ask heads of house and tutors to lead their houses back to tutor rooms in a respectful silence until you are back inside the school building. Thank you all, thank you for attending, thank you for marking this important event and thank you for your conduct throughout.